Right, at last, I'm joined in Sheffield by the victorious Chris Billum Smith, as always. Uh, yeah, how did you assess that, Chris? Yeah, it was uh, it was tricky to begin with. Like, it was um, he boxed slightly different to how I thought he would. To be honest, that he was I've seen him before. He just backed up, backed up. So I was trying to double up my attacks, and then he would just hold his feet. So then he'd smother the work. But pleased with how I made the adjustments, fifth round onwards. And then, um, yeah, and be pleased with obviously getting the win. It was a clear victory and I felt in control. Overall, the fight you expected tonight? Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd be able to, like I said, I thought he'd back up a little bit more. Um, but pleased with the adjustments I made. If I'd made those adjustments slightly earlier, started uh, the fight like I did boxing the fifth, I probably would have got him out in the later rounds. What were you most pleased with? The adjustments, like, it's hard to adjust during a fight. Not many, you know, that's about experience. Only experienced fighters can do that. I've done it before, I've had six, eight round fights, 10 round fights where I haven't adjusted and I've kept us, you know, a bit hectic and I've needed to make adjustments. So I'm really pleased with the adjustments I made. Chris spoke to Eddie during the week and he did mention a potential rematch between yourself and Tommy McCarthy. How do you feel about that? Did he? I, I thought it was trying, gonna happen now. Uh, we were hoping for it. Um, look, I want to fight at Bournemouth, not really, not really asked who, if it's Tommy or uh, Fabio Turchi who's my mandatory, but I'm not going to give up the belt to fight Tommy. And Fabio is my mandatory. I'm not going to give up a belt that I won off a man, you know, because I'd have to vacate it. So for me, um, if I don't have to vacate it, I'm happy with, with, with Tommy. You know, it's about you know doing that. I've done the business, but I'm, you know, I'm not opposed to the rematch. Yeah. The other thing Eddie mentioned to me, is he actually, I said to him about the potential rematch. I said you're going to take that to Belfast because you've got a few Irish fighters, etc. Said no, I want to do it in Bournemouth. I want to do my first show in Bournemouth. So that must be music to your ears. Yeah, that's that is what I'm most concerned about next, rather than who I'm fighting. I just want to fight back home. My fans have been brilliant. I wanted to do that fight. We had it planned for beginning of 2020 March, and then we couldn't get an opponent. Then I was meant to box Foley in Cardiff. Covid, COVID happened. I boxed Foley in Fight Camp. Everything got pushed back behind closed doors. It would need fans, and the fans would be electric down there. You know, I only brought a few up tonight, about 30, but they made plenty of noise. And um, I'm, I'm, I would just, yeah, it'd be, that is exa exactly what you said, music to my ears, mm. it, it can happen in Bournemouth. So that's from Lawrence, obviously, because you trained with him. Uh, you've got yourself, you've got your mandatory situation, you've got the potential McCarthy and React Paul rematches as well. Has anything been discussed about React Paul or not really? No, I think, I don't think Eddie's interested, you know, he's gone and signed with Sky. And he's got a world title eliminator next, I believe, is it? Um, so I imagine he's going a different route uh, for now. I'm not opposed to that rematch either. Um, but I was surprised he signed with Sky because if if he wanted to fight me, you know, for our, all the belts I've got, then you'd think he would have, have done it and signed with Matchroom. But you know, who knows what the situation is? The money is. Everyone's got their own paths. So um, good luck to him, and hopefully it can happen in the future. All right, well done, Chris. We look forward to your potential fight uh, in Bournemouth. I'm sure you would look forward to that as well. And uh, enjoy your Christmas. Thank you. Right? Appreciate your time.